Paris, France. More than two million people live and work in this 41 square mile metropolis. And although Paris is one of the world's most instantly recognizable cities, just below the surface of the city of light lurks a mysterious darkness, a centuries old labyrinth of tunnels that contains the bones of millions of bodies, the Paris catacombs. When you walk in there, you'll see bones stacked. They're everywhere. You'll have thigh bones stacked up in places. You'll have skulls stacked in other places. It's almost like a warehouse of human bones. We don't know which bone goes with which. Sometimes they're just piled up, but sometimes it's almost a decoration where they put them. In some cases, they're more architecturally or artistically placed. There are lined along the walls thousands of skeletons, some with bits of clothing hanging off of them. It's a whole network of tunnels, really. There's about a mile of it that's open to visitors, and you can see some of these places. Over the main entrance to the Paris catacombs, there is carved a sign which, when translated, reads, Stop. This is the empire of the dead. According to some estimates, the Paris catacombs hold the bones of more than six million people. But why did Parisians decide to stack all these bones together in the first place? In Paris, you had people being buried in a traditional sense in a graveyard, but those are finite locations. And they started running out of space. So if that is the case, after a certain amount of time, individuals are going to get dug back up to create space for new burials. Then you have to do something with those bones. So they started to utilize catacombs as a way to relocate those bones. We stopped buried corpses in 1780, and in 1785, we began to transport bones in this place, which were at that time uh, in the suburb of Paris. We officially opened the catacomb to the public in 1809. In the Parisian catacombs, very often bones have been rearranged, made into even sculptural sort of forms. In many ways, this conflicts with that uh, Christian idea of keeping the body together. The one thing most funeral practices have in the world is some kind of respect for one's ancestor or some kind of feeling that this is one last act of charity that needs to be completed for the soul to move on properly. On the other hand, the Paris catacombs was not a sacred site. They are going to get rid of the old bones and they don't want to have this problem again. I would question whether the Paris catacombs are respectful to the dead or not. Did the builders of the Paris catacombs desecrate the souls of the dead by moving their bones from cemeteries to the dark tunnels beneath the city? There are many who believe the answer is yes. And there's a local legend which says that moving the bones of so many deceased people unleashed a dark and malevolent force that still haunts the catacombs. If you think about it, Paris catacombs are a pretty grim reminder that we have no control over what happens to our bones after we die. 